I chose to do a BMSc because I was at the third year of the medical course. I decided that I wanted to do something a little bit different for a while. I didn't have any sort of background in research, didn't have any background in sort of adult learning, if you like, and doing my own study management and teaching something that's obviously central to the role of a doctor now and something that I didn't really know anything about either. So I thought it was a good opportunity to do something different. So the project that I did was looking at professionalism as a whole, which is the whole outcome three um, and almost a third of what medical students are expected to do now. Um, and I looked at how we assess that. Um, so that was a good opportunity for me to learn a little bit about statistics, a little bit about quantitative but also qualitative research, um, running focus groups um, and that sort of side of the research as well as then putting it together and writing it up. We also had the opportunity to go out and work in high schools and that gives a different perspective on the teaching side of things. Working with students at university is a lot different to working with um, kids who are perhaps not quite so keen um, on your subject and that gives a different challenge in terms of how do you keep them engaged. I would recommend the BMSc programme as a whole um, and I would recommend the teaching in medicine course um, to anyone who is considering a, an academic job or really anyone who would like to do something for, for a year that isn't science-based. I think there's a lot of BMSCs that are science-based and they are fantastic in terms of research opportunities and really good for people who are keen on science. I'm not so science-centred if you like, I'm a little bit more on the research and the teaching side of things and I think it's a really unique opportunity to immerse yourself in something completely different for a while. Whether I go into a sort of educational role specifically or not, I would definitely be much more confident in teaching students on the wards um, as a junior doctor, as a registrar, um, and then further down the line if I was to pick up an educational role within a university um, or a teaching hospital, it would certainly benefit me.